on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Stay back. Deco. So, what are we gonna do now? What? Come on, Ezekiel, why are you, aren't you, don't you want to save him? Yes, I do. But don't worry, we can't disobey the heroes. We should just let them handle it. They're failing. Uh, what? You heard me, Ida. They're failing Koski right now. I can find him. I'll save him. As yes, Izuku, he gets up from his hospital bed. His arms are still in casts. Them looking like... What? How are you going to save anyone? Him looking back with the most malice and anger you would never expect to see from someone declared as a cinnamon roll. <laughs> Watch. Him breaking them. Easily. Everyone looking back. Kirishima's... Uh, uh, <coughs> uh, okay, that just happened. But, come on, I, I'm going to help you know. You stay out of this. In this case, only one of us gets in trouble. Him walking out, but... Then Kirishima just grabs his... Uh, his arms. I am not letting you. Him having to let go. For some reason, his hand is burned. <laughs> Stay out of my way. I doubt you can keep up with me. And that's it. Everyone is like, who was that? Oraka, she is terrified, wondering, um, are we gonna tell anyone? Kirishi was just looking at his hand, seeing that it is hella burnt. Even Shoto is looking and that, that that's not possible. He, I thought his quirk was a enhancement. It is. At least, it's supposed to be. Ida looking. We have to tell heroes. We can't let Midoriya do this alone. So what do you suppose? Who do we tell? Uh, well, Aizawa, obviously. Uh, All Might. We, we have to let them know what Midoriya is trying to do. Right, right. Or we could just give him support. Uh, really? You saw what he did. He's not going to allow us to. He's trying to do this so we don't get in trouble. So what? We want to be heroes. Why not give our friend a hand? You heard him. He doesn't believe we can keep up. Well, let's prove him wrong. I, I don't know. You seem very serious. What are you talking about? We have to stop him. He get himself hurt or worse, killed. Everyone looking at Ida's as... Yeah, they're like, he's right. 
So yeah, upon Izuku just going back home, before he leaves, he tells Inko's like he he'll be back. Then a knock on the door. In which it's Aizawa. It's all my it's midnight. Hell, Gran Torino's there. Well, looks like you don't got yourself in a heap of trouble. What? Your friends have told us what you were doing. And Inko what what, what, what what are you talking about? Apparently your son is planning on uh, going to save Mr. Bakugo. But, but what? Her looking terrified, seeing the stern expression that is unyielding in her son's eyes. You're serious? Yes. And you guys aren't going to stop me. I'm sorry, young Midoriya, but we can't allow you to interfere with our investigation. <sighs> then don't whip me. Just say I got away. Him just brushing past them. All Might is shot more than anyone. It's like, wh what the hell? I that was a problem, child. Don't you turn your backs. I'll be back. So help me if you walk away. You'll be treated as a vigilante. And you'll be arrested on the spot. Really? You'll arrest me. You too, All Might. I won't have a choice, John Midoriya. Vigilantism is illegal. <sighs> Fine. I guess I have no choice. As a sigh of relief just washes over them until they feel. So, hey, did it get hot in here all of a sudden? As they look, and Izuku's just. I guess I'm a vigilante. Him disappearing! All my. Along with everyone else, was like, how did he do that? Gran Torino. I didn't even see him move. Where is he? Them walking out and seeing nothing but a crater that has a, a huge ass footprint. Them. Oh no, 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 no. This, this is not right. This is not how it's supposed to be. What are you talking about, Joshi? Uh, uh, well, uh, I was supposed to be training him. It, it's not supposed to be like this. He's, he wasn't like this before. As Inko, she runs up behind All Might and starts punching him, demanding what happened. What did you do to my son? What? He's never acted out like this before until you came along. What the hell did you do? I, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. As Izuku, next thing he sees, he's wearing a hoodie. He's making sure that his face is covered. So, so they're trying to be inconspicuous. This thing he sees is pretty much him on TV. People's 
be on the lookout for this UA student who has decided to play vigilante. Isaac Midoriya is to be apprehended at once and brought before the teachers and staff of UA. So, yeah. Now, Izuku is a one man. <laughs> As he is doing whatever he can to not only lay low, but pick up as many leads, as much information as he can on where Bakugo could be. And once he finds out, it's to say, it's a few days before they decide to do the raid. So they're not even prepared for that yet. Upon Izuku learning where the bar is, where they're ha hiding Bakugo, he bursts in there. The crater he makes within the wall is bigger than what All Might did. As everyone else is looking at him, no one is restrained, mind you. Not even Katsuki. So, yeah, Izuku, pissed off is staring everyone down. Kimiko is gushing over this. Like, you come to see me, but no. <laughs> like, out of my way, I'm taking Kaski with me. I thought I told you to stay away, Deku. Shut up! Stay out of this. I'm saving you regardless of what you say. <clears throat> Who said I needed saving? I saved you once. I'll do it as many times until you get it through your thick head that you are not invincible. As <coughs> you, she can rock you say, <coughs> I would hate to disrupt this touching, friendly reunion, but you're surrounded, kid. You're trapped here with us, both of you. <laughs> you don't seem to get it. I'm not trapped here with you. You're trapped here with me. Him destroying the whole bar. It making a big enough explosion to the heroes, they're pretty much like, what the hell, we aren't ready. We are just still in the process of preparing for this raid. As all my, it's him. It's young Midoriya, he, he found young Bakugo first. As soon as they get there, everyone is defeated already. No restraints, they are just unconscious. Bakugo is unconscious over Izuku's shoulder. <laughs> there, I did your job for you. I'll get him to safety while I finish this. What? As, yeah. This is when the slug shows up and they get swallowed whole. <laughs> Bakugo, especially. So, if you thought Izuku was pissed before, <clears throat> oh yeah, he's, there is no level to how pissed off he is now. So upon him learning that they enter another location, All Might tries to grab him, but slow, just misses, barely. As he just watches Izuku jump off. All I think is, for some reason, he's not using any electricity. He doesn't see any of it. He looks at Aizawa, he sees that his eyes are red, his hair is floating. Why didn't your quirk? I don't know. It's almost like he wasn't using a quirk. This putting a chill down all my spines like wait 
If you couldn't cancel his quirk, wait, did he use it one for all? As yes, this is when awful one. Oh, just say okay. What happened? Shigaraki barely be able to point at the projectile, just slamming straight to the ground. Him. What the? A kid did this? Yes. As yeah, all the one is. He must be the successor. This could prove to be much more interesting than I thought. As yes, he's just looking at Izuku's pissed off look. So, <clears throat> okay. So. I take it you're here to save this boy. Yes. And I doubt you're going to go down without a fight. Nope. Oh well. I guess let's fight. As he throws a huge ass boulder straight to Izuku and just smack it away. Did you really just throw a pebble at me? <laughs> well, it seems like you're much more powerful than I've anticipated. Him breaking out the all my killing weapon and throwing it straight at Izuku. Him grabbing it. I am not in the mood for your bullshit. As he starts to bend and slowly breaking all for one's arm, him noticing that this kid is not having any of it. As Toga, Twice, everyone, Shigaraki's like, Master of all, how, how are you? I think it would be wise for you to leave. What? Get out of here! As yes, they are sent flying, and <laughs> Izuku is alone with all for one. And Bakugo, who is barely clinging to consciousness, as he is like, How are you doing this? Shut up. Stay out of this. This is my fight. Leave. But I... Go. Now. <clears throat> Bogo just using the explosions to fly the fuck out of Dodge. So, yeah, you can just imagine... As soon as All Might and the other heroes show up, them looking at this scene. It's Izuku going toe to toe with All for One. And there are news vans, there are cameras rolling, live footage, and blasting it everywhere, showing off. It's like, this kid is legit going up against a villain. By himself. Is yes, the All Might and the others there. They try to help, but all they're doing is getting in his way. As over one is pretty much using up as many quirks that are meant to take on All Might specifically, or at least a power type like him. But Izuku keeps healing. And so it is all for one. So it is a battle of endurance right now. And at the end of the day, Ashura is not 
Someone who gives up easily. Or hell at all. Hell, I mean, he legit kept coming back from hell. Honest to God, hell. So at the end of the battle, all for one is out cold. And though Izuku won, he is surrounded by heroes. He is surrounded by police. Hell, military. Guns trained at him. Aizawa using his quirk to his fullest ability as they tell him to put his hands up and surrender. Him doing so. Inko is heartbroken seeing this. All my looking down at Izuku's. I can't believe you did it. I don't know whether to be disappointed or proud. Be both. I didn't what needed to be done as he's hauled away <clears throat> that's impossible was it Yasha he's back Yasha's back again what yes <laughs> Oh, it took him long enough. I was getting bored. But from what we can gather, he's not fully awakened. That's good. Oh, so he's still a weakling. Uh, that's disappointing. Oh, well. I, I guess I can still dream hurry up and wake him up or somehow I don't care I need uh, something to pass the time are you serious hey we just got back from him killing us last time that was the best fight I ever had ever since your whole grand plan didn't pan out <laughs> Whatever. Imagine not as long as he stays asleep. But what if he does awaken fully? That could be very problematic. Then why not kill him while he's still weak? No. We shouldn't interfere. We don't know if he's truly a threat yet. After what he did last time? As soon as he fully awakens, he is going to come for his daughter. And there is nothing we are going to be able to do. Do you know how much of a pain it was to gather as many souls as we did last time? And he swatted away. He survived everything. True. He did. Hmm. So as long as he doesn't remember. As long as he stays in the dark, there's nothing to worry about. But end of story. We are not going to provoke him if there's no reason to. Very well. And that is how this first part ends. <laughs> yes, I'm back. And this is one that I decided to start off with. <laughs> yes, I decided to start off with this one just for the hell of it. Hell, why not? Ugh. Ashura refuses to die until he 
really fulfills his goal. I come back from a virus that pretty much been fucking over America and the world. Eh, it seems fitting. <sighs> it's good to be back and to start doing my regular brand of bat shittery. Uh, it's good to be back and I missed you. I missed all of you.